What's next for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Let's find out, because the recent trailer didn't give us anything huge. We got some new Pokemon, we got to see how we explore through the region, and we got to see how the older Pokemon are updated, because Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is making a big deal of the textures. Like, man, Flaffy looking good, as well as the other Pokemon. We also got to meet some characters and see the legendaries, but my jaw is not on the floor. So what's going to happen with a big Pokemon reveal? When to expect it? All that good stuff is what we're talking about in this video. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and share it with your friends. Also comment your thoughts down below. So let's see the early June trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We got new Pokemon, that's standard, and then we get to see the wild area. So the interesting thing about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is like the big wild area thing has already been stated as of the reveal of the games themselves because we explore freely in a richly expressed open world that stated it stated more and more again you are free to explore at your leisure and not in an order dictated by the story that's huge but it's one of those things where we're like all right we've gone from wild area to open world we are in the next stage of pokemon pretty cool but like what's what's the big feature how does this really tie in and create something insane that's probably going to be for the next trailer or better yet a Pokemon Presents slash Pokemon Direct, because we don't even know the name of the region. We don't even have a map of the region. The crazy thing about Pokemon Sword and Shield is that it was revealed with the map. We could see things. We could figure out things. We could start speculating on the size of the region, how many gems, the gems themselves, the order, the wild area, the exploration. And we just got so much information about the games. So that seems like the present. Oh, yeah. And we also get to see the final area. Wait, we see the Battle Tower and the potential Elite Four area? How? Wow. Okay, we, we just knew everything about Pokemon Sword and Shield, and yet we knew nothing. We also got to see the sprawling landscape, the gym scenery, how we explore through the towns. But we don't have as much of that for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet now. So every reveal cycle, just a little different. But a June Pokemon Direct seems like the perfect place to really explore what is going on. What... What do the origins of the grapes have to do with anything? Because that's been in every trailer. It's been a key part of the games, but we still don't know. Even after the legendary Pokemon reveal, they also show us gym flags. There's also gym symbol that's been around for a while. Right in like this, uh, since the initial teaser before even the trailer. So that's some crazy stuff. And we also see gyms and some kind of gym symbol that looks like a sailboat. Okay, so we get a 15 minute Pokemon Direct that explains all of this. Pretty cool. Also, just a Pokemon Direct in general. Please, Pokemon Quest update. Why not? It has such a good audience outside of China, and I want the PvP, and it gives us a game to play in the summer while we wait for this because Pokemon Sword and Shield is dead because of all the hacking. Either way, like, yeah, we actually have a lot of mysteries and stuff, but they really i think they need to have like you know the directors of the game come out and just talk about the game like we see in a presents like we see in a direct format maybe even some tutorial ish gameplay because that's kind of how an e3 trailer can typically go wow june 11th yeah that was the next week so shut up about e3 being canceled or all that we still have like summer nintendo reveals and news like that so there's no reason to not have some kind of live gameplay sun and moon was also unique because it was the first time we had like masuda and omori playing a game live and even said like oh this is the first time so hopefully everything works and we get to reveal what we want to so it's like it's really good at expressing the features of the game we get to see the wild area the exploration through that which was a crazy new step for pokemon so now we can actually just kind of take that further and leave no questions and also again just kind of give that direct presentation where hey the gym order is open here's an example of the gym order or maybe that'll come with a map like we see the map and then they they kind of say explore freely do whatever you want on this map and i'm thinking then we're going to have to wait a little bit for the story but i'm guessing june like either mid-june late june crazy if it happens any sooner like still like second week june like we've seen in the past but I don't know, like, I'm just, I've been so used to very sparse Pokemon news that I'm not expecting anything, like, crazy and snappy. But, like, late June, big Pokemon presents, you know, Pokemon press conference style. Yeah, that, that seems to be wrapped up. But what about July? 
So the really interesting thing about this reveal is that our gimmick, you know, the little teaser that we get inside of the logos or just the overall like major thing in the game, Mega Evolution, Dynamax, Z-Moves, was revealed super early because we found out about Z-Moves and Mega Evolution in August. Now, Megas were teased a little earlier, but like June and not even for the Direct, like that was crazy to see how big Pokemon work. So I'm guessing like July could be, you know, cut it somewhere in the middle and then give us that big reveal. But there was also the theory I had to where we can get the logo shenanigans, like we find out what the symbol it means in the next trailer because they kind of teased it at the end of the second trailer. So a lot of things can just kind of happen and be revealed. And that's a cool thing about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, that there are a lot of mysteries for what could happen. And I feel like they have to play into this I Spy. Like, they're going to start revealing batches of Pokemon and be like, did you catch it from the initial trailer? And then everyone's going to go mad about what everything means. Like, one of my new working theories is that this jug is actually an olive jug. And now we have an olive Pokemon. And potentially, like, because oil is flammable, we're going to have a fire grass type in the form of an olive jug Pokemon that evolves from small olive. If it's really just chilling like that, cool. But there's way too much I Spot stuff in here. For this to not have significance and maybe they kind of play into it later on um after that that's where things get crazy so we have more pokemon revealed for pokemon sun and moon july 1st and then just more trailers like okay so then we got salandit then we got some other pokemon alola forms and z moves august um newly discovered pokemon july 19th so again every two weeks some kind of crazy pokemon news was busted out this one's like hey here's seven pokemon get hype and we had, like, Mimikyu T's for Koro Koro. Koro Koro is pretty much dead. Actually, was how many Pokemon was this? Like, they just kept throwing so many Pokemon at us. Oh, we found out about Hyper Training. So, and that's, like, another really cool thing. That inside of the Pokemon Sword and Shield news... Oh, crap. I just realized I can't show these trailers because of, like, false copyright flags. Hopefully my video doesn't get dinged on that. But, um... Yeah. So we have Global Link hosting your own battle competitions. That's pretty cool. And then Hyper Training. Like, that was the craziest mind-blowing thing ever, where it's like, wait, we don't need breeding? We can just skip to level 100? Now it turned out to be kind of sucky in Generation 7 and getting revamped in Generation 8. But when Pokemon Sword and Shield showed us the Battle Stadium and all the other competitive elements there, oh man, Pokemon competitive looking crazy. It's like, we just get a random splash like that. Um, There was also where it's like, hey, you can just use vitamins. No cap. That's right, 26 vitamins, your Pokemon's EV trained. Congratulations, welcome to modern Pokemon, like, training. So that, that, that could just be its own huge thing that just drops in the middle of random Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. Because I want to see, with this open world, how Pokemon training evolves and just becomes more quality of life. And even, like, hopefully taking things from Pokemon Let's Go, where you just do whatever. Boom. Crazy stuff. Catch combos being the greatest thing ever. I really hope they make a point to be like, hey, battle replays are back. So, July trailer. Just any kind of stuff. And, like, new Pokemon... Cool. New Pokemon are given. Um, the gimmick, if we don't have it by then, or anything that wasn't revealed that I was talking about with June. And then at some point, they're going to have to like amp it up be like any gym order. Do whatever you want in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then we can just kind of like look at other trends from other games as well. Because I feel like with all the fan service we saw in Pokemon Legends and even like a tip towards fan service with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I don't know if LeChonk was as, like was expected to be as manufactured as it was to get all the zoom zooms crazy on social media and like the like the, the thing is the names are carrying the designs and I personally find that just terrible that people are so simple that they fall for it. But yeah, like LeChonk. We just have meme zoomer names right here. So I mean like even a little bit of that fan service kind of spilling in with generation nine but um overall like yeah we have Zerua Zorark we get the Growlithe form that we've been waiting for and then just everything else the story the pandering the lies and then the characters as well it, it, it that what I'm saying is like I think Pokemon is trying to give what the mass well, not the masses the vocal minority is saying so my prediction for August is if we don't have the evolution reveal by then we're probably going to be getting it by then. That's the wrong video. By the way, Technology Connection is pretty good. I like that content. Also, now, I'm just trying to build up, like, the craziest evolution 
So, I I think I lost my mind last month when I was like, we don't have any Pokemon Scarlet and Violet news. Oh no, we're going to be having delayed, and it's not going to be Pokemon Sun and Moon. We're not going to get any information about this game before release. That is the worst case scenario. Something like they're they're holding back so long that I thought they were just going to do an um like how they revealed Hisuian, Zeru, and Zorark, but for an evolution, like just draw it out over a week and then start kicking into trailers, Pokemon Presents, Pokemon Direct, a lot more like just gameplay focused content. That didn't happen, but I still think like an evolution is on the table. And it seems like the anime didn't catch up. I didn't respect the current pace of the anime, because like, yeah, not a lot has happened in the last couple of episodes, and none of it really built up an evolution. So I'm guessing that we're going to have to get closer to the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as we get closer to the end of Pokemon Journeys, and then that kind of builds it up. Also, that kind of goes in line with what happened with Lycanroc. So yeah, like, yeah, Lycanroc, similar to Eevee, ties in with anime. Cool. And that also kind of gives us these windows that we've seen in the past. Meltan being a build-up from the announcement in May of Pokemon Let's Go, but then finally getting, like, a long-form uh, rollout. Um, yeah, it pretty much had its own rollout behind how that Pokemon was revealed, eventually released, got all of its trailers and stuff. So we can see that happening August, potentially September. And October, November, games out. And I'm hoping for a demo as well. It's been a while since everyone's gotten their hands on a demo. I think we lost that privilege with Pokemon Sun and Moon because of Datamine, after we almost lost it because of Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire because of Datamine. That is on developers for not scrubbing their games, but it looks like we can't have nice things. And, like, yeah, some kind of demo... Like, there was a demo that existed for Pokemon Let's Go, but that wasn't, like, you get it before the game comes out. Actually, you ended up being able to download it. So... Like, a demo in September kind of opens it up, and then October's whatever, and, like, wow. Just like that, the game's out, and we have a strong release cycle for things that we only know right now. Like, if you look at the borders, there's some kind of hint there. There are only, like, four gem areas. Or these are the four legendary Pokemon. It's going to be similar to the Tapus, kind of like how it intermingled with the islands of the Alola region and stuff like that. Who even knows? It's like, this is surface area stuff. This is before we get into gameplay features we could have never even imagined, like we've seen with uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, even Pokemon Let's Go to a degree, with the Master Trainer just kind of coming out of nowhere, Pokemon Sun and Moon with the Festival Plaza. So, how do they expand the multiplayer? What kind of hub, what kind of stuff is going to happen like that? Any point that can drop, be its own trailer. Uh, the interesting thing to me is also the amount of Pokemon. You know, just a few of the incredible new Pokemon you'll encounter in, in this adventure. So, we've only seen a few Pokemon, and there's going to be many never-before-seen Pokemon. So, how many revealed? Pokemon Sun and Moon style? I hope. 70, 80, 100? How big is the region? We don't have any of that stuff yet. So, as that comes out, it's like, wow, yeah. We have more gameplay, just as a given right now, than Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, we have... If we go equal trailer material, we still spoil less, like, percentage-wise, and we keep hype going. But as I've kind of pointed out, it the trailers aren't hitting different. They're not hitting the same. They are hitting different compared to Pokemon Sun and Moon. I don't find that to be a good thing. Now, maybe as the pace picks up and everyone's, like, super on board and not just, like, I don't care about anything here except for Smoliv, Fue Coco, and Lechonk. Like, that's, that's kind of dumb. Also, Chad. Like, okay... I, w I want people to care about the games and not the memes and then just not care about the games three days later because that's how social media works. We still have like a lot of potential. So a lot of things to look forward to. A lot of like it, it seems like if the Pokemon company wanted to, they could just have nonstop Pokemon news and then just keep it coming and not ruin the games at all because it's an open world Pokemon game. Infinite, limited, limited, limitless possibility. And all kinds of other stuff. And then that's before we even get into the story. Which you don't even have to engage with that much. Because open world. So yeah, overall things are looking good. I'm liking where it's going. Pokemon Direct June. Um, some kind of reveal in July. And that also kind of like, oh yeah, just... I got so caught up in everything else I was talking about. I forgot like the... Some kind of big thing, you know. Dr putting your jaw on the floor... And I think that that's where, like, you don't need to explain Mega Evolution. So I don't think it'd be in the Direct, where, like, they get everyone's attention for a Direct and then drop something like Mega Evolution again. I think that could just be surprise trailer. July. Maybe August, because that's what we saw with Pokemon Let's Go. Actually, the move to the Nintendo Switch in Generation 8 being interesting as well, because Megas were 
kind of felt like a given because it just been around for so long why not have mega evolution but also kind of taken for granted because we there was a possibility like yeah we just don't see it again after generation seven ended up being in pokemon let's go but not pokemon sword and shield and that again that's like okay we got an early august reveal and i think there was like a core core tease or some kind of trailer or like some kind of merchandise where it's like wait a second looks like Megas are in after people kind of gave up hope on Megas being in, especially because no items, no abilities in Pokemon Let's Go. People got to demo the game. We got to see E3 stuff from it. So like that, and it's a remake. So that dream was dead until it wasn't. So like, yeah, anything can kind of just happen, but I feel like it's going to be a bit more delayed. And also that's kind of how you get that pickup, you know, not really too much going on late July, early August. Eh, still a couple months till the games came out and I'm already kind of over the big hype of a frou-frou reveal and all the directs and stuff. No, that's how it's like, okay, 24-7, non-stop, if Megas are in, I'm expecting a more July reveal for that. And as we've seen, give it its own trailer, no introduction, natural flow, all that cool stuff. I'm thinking that's where we're looking at for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And again, when you condense it down, we can just have tons of information until the game comes out. And by the way, the game's already out, cool. So just a couple months away, I'm excited. We'll see how it all plays out. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.